Hey guys, it's Rob. I just thought I'd do a quick video explaining the importance of having your center of gravity located at the center of thrust on your multi-copter. It doesn't matter whether it's a quadcopter or a hexacopter, the, um, the center of thrust is actually calculated when all motors are producing the same amount of thrust. So for example, 100% throttle on all six motors here. What that's going to do is it's going to give us a resultant force that is known as the center of thrust. And it's going to be about here on this frame. Obviously it depends on the measurements and the geometry, but for a given shape um, or frame, the center of thrust is always going to be the same. Now, what we want to do for maximum performance is position the battery so that the quad or hex actually balances exactly at that center of thrust. In this case, it's about there. You see where my fingers are, are balancing. Now what that means is that when you're in a hover, because the center of thrust and the center of gravity are in the same position, all six motors are working at the same power. So they're at the same power level in a hover. But more importantly, when you apply full throttle for a climb, all six motors can go to 100% and there's no tendency for it to pitch forward or back because center of gravity and center of thrust are at the same position. If I move that battery too far forward, the quad is going to be nose heavy. The center of gravity is forward of the center of thrust. What that means is that gravity is pushing down here, center of thrust is pushing, is pulling up here. So you get a, a, a tendency to have an imbalance if all motors are operating at the same RPM. What the flight controller will do is compensate for that by increasing power on the front and by reducing power on the rear. So in a hover, your front motors are working harder, your rear motors are working less. Okay, so it's not ideal. Where it becomes more of a problem is in a full power climb. Okay, when your center of gravity is too far forward, the front motors will reach 100%. The rear motors cannot reach 100%. If they did, the quad would just flip over like that or the hex would just flip over like that. So what the flight controller does, in order to maintain a level climb, it reduces power on the rear motors. And therefore, you're not getting 100% out of all the motors, so you're not getting the maximum performance available. You're always going to get the best performance out of a hex or a quad when the center of gravity coincides exactly with the center of thrust. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.